Mike Stark was neither a protester nor a heckler, yet he has been labeled as both, as well as a supporter of Senate candidate James Webb in Virginia, as if any of those labels materially changes the third story in the countdown. What happened when Stark, a Marine veteran as it so happens, dared to ask his senator a question? Today, the campaign of Senator George Allen released a statement about the incident saying, quote, volunteers restrained him and asked him to leave the building when he approached the senator for a second time asking inappropriate questions. It is, of course, the right of all Americans to ask any question. And as this video from the summer shows, the Allen campaign was already familiar with Mr. Stark and his penchant for difficult questions. It is still all right for us to ask questions, isn't it? That said, whether Mr. Stark was restrained or asked to leave the building yesterday or, in fact, was thrown to the floor because Allen's campaign decided Stark was getting personal, you judge for yourself. Why are you putting your hands on me? I'm asking you a question. I'm the constituent. Yeah. He's my senator. I'm asking you a question. Can you park or something? Sir, you don't need to leave. Now, get out the door. Are you part of... Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not at all. Let's move on. Senator Allen, hey. if you spit out your first wife... Oh, now you're getting hurt out of here. Now you're getting personal. Okay, now you're getting personal. You mean, I didn't touch anybody, okay? Yeah. You need to move on out of here now. If the hotel asked me to leave, I'd leave. You get the personal. Did he? What do you know? What do you know? I know he's a good man. No, you're a punk. Let's bring in the man at the center of all this, Mike Stark, law student at the University of Virginia, blogger at callingallwingnuts.com. Mike, thanks for joining us tonight. Good evening, Keith. Thanks let's, for uh, having me on. Let's start with uh, Senator's accusation, irrelevant as it ultimately might be, is that you, like the young man he had called Makaka earlier in the campaign, were acting as part of his rival, Mr. Webb's campaign. Let me play, play the exchange and then get your reaction to this. Do you have evidence that there was a direct connection between this gentleman and the Webb campaign? Sure. That's, this, this guy was uh, with them taping it when he was uh, trying the same sort of stunt back in August. So he said he has direct evidence that there was a direct connection between you and the Webb campaign. Did any Webb staffers know about what you were doing beforehand? No, none. None did at all. Listen, campaigns lie, and uh, George Allen is a liar. He, he's, he's, it's getting towards the end of election season. He's desperate, and he's he's clinging to uh, whatever excuse he can he can conjure up right now. The press release from the Allen campaign does not mention that you were once good enough to get people to call Bill O'Reilly's show and have them mention my name, which caused uh, the silicone chips in Billow's head to melt, and it led him to claim that he had his own police who he could send to the homes of evil callers. But but it, but the press release does claim Mike Stark pushed the Allen staffer. Did you push anybody? I didn't push anyone that I that that I remember. There was a there was definitely a scrum going on in there, and I definitely did my best to jockey for a position. I was trying to uh, pace the senator so I could continue with my questions as he uh, moved through the crowd, um, and they were pushing me around. So it, it was definitely difficult to maintain my position. I think the video speaks for itself, though. I mean, I I did my absolute best to restrain myself the entire time. I mean, my attentions were completely focused on the senator. That uh, piece of glass that your head nearly hit against, or, or at least touched, how, do you have any idea how thick that was? I mean, that looks, when you see that video, like you might have gone through that plate glass window. Is that a possibility? Uh, sure. It, it, it didn't happen. I'm, I'm glad it didn't happen. Um, but I don't think anyone really took that into account when all of this was happening. I, I think they were un made uncomfortable by the questions I was asking. I asked the senator uh, whether or not he was going to release his arrest records, and I... Uh, Asked him, you know, what was in his divorce records, if the uh, rumors were true that he had spit on his first wife. So that's where that question, that, that was not a random question about did, did, did you stop spitting on your wife, in, in essence. That's, that comes from where? Uh, TalkingPointsMemo.com, it's one of the most reputable and reliable uh, news blogs on the, on the Internet right now. I, I also note with amusement that the third paragraph of the uh, senator's press release today accuses you of being, quote, a frequent Daily Coast blogger. Bad, Mike. You know you're not allowed to do that. Um, Been doing that for three years, you know, Steve. I, I, it's, it's, the, it's the third lead in their story of this. Anyway, uh, the, the, the other member of this family who was sort of peripherally involved in this campaign in a way they couldn't have expected, Alan's sister, has written, wrote a memoir called Fifth Quarter, talks about her three brothers. Let me quote something from this. Once, when Bruce refused to go to bed, George hurled him through a sliding glass door. 
Another time when Gregory refused to go to bed, George tackled him and broke his collarbone. Another time when I refused to go to bed, George dragged me up the stairs by my hair. Uh, Senator Allen knew you, had, had talked to you before. Do you have any idea what his reaction to the assault on you was? Did he try to stop it or intervene in any way? That's the most disturbing thing about this. And, and truly, it's, it's embarrassing to the United States. It's embarrassing to the state of Virginia. Senator Allen was in complete control of that situation at all times. At any time, he could have said, hey, wait a minute, no, th th this isn't the way my campaign operates. Take your hands off that man. Stop this. Instead, he watched it happen and walked away um, when, when things started getting really out of control. At any time, he could have stopped that. It, that that's a failure of leadership. Any idea who that was in the glasses who pulled you down finally? No, I don't have any idea who any of these men are. I did file a police report. I, um, I am pressing charges against the people that did this. And uh, I expect the police and the Commonwealth to sort out all the names. These, these people are known. Some of them are GOP officials in, in the county. Others were uh, campaign staffers. And I've heard that they've threatened to uh, press charges against me. The senator's even got his wife out there casting aspersions mm -hmm. at me. It's a... Uh, it, it's tough when a grown man has to have his wife fight his battles for him. What a, what a cowardly bully. Unfortunately, fairly common. Mike Stark of uh, CallingAllWingnuts.com, who was pushed to the ground while trying to push the senator on a question. Great thanks for sharing your side of the story with us tonight. Evening, Keith.